I want to get a 50 pack episode, but instead we get our fifth consecutive early rage quit because apparently no one wants to play ranked seasons anymore. Let me know what packs you want to see me grind and utilize for those last those two special packs, which I will be. We're gonna use those in the next episode at the beginning before we jump in. What's up guys, welcome back to Pack Squads. Today, we're on a five game win streak and we're actually gonna open two special packs at the start of the video. If you haven't seen the last episode, you definitely need to go check it out because we have some carryover packs from that video, which we usually don't do. But we got two special packs at the beginning of today's video. Go get caught up if you haven't already. Let's open these packs. Now, in the comments of the last video, you guys told me that the season two team affinity packs are the packs that you wanted to see me rip for these specials. So I decided to do some exchanges with all the duplicates in my inventory and we got an NL East pack and an NL West pack from season two. NL East has the Edward Cabrera, Ronnie Mauricio, Cliff Lee, and the NL West pack has the Dante Bichette, Josiah Gray, which are the two cards that we would take out of this. We're gonna open both of these, pick one from each pack, jump into a ranked seasons game, and if you're new here, the rules are in the description box down below. We also have this graphic on the screen right now. We're gonna play one ranked seasons game. We will open packs after the game based on how we play in the game, and we can earn special packs through a variety of ways, like getting our opponent to rage quit or winning five games in a row, or if we we earn 50 packs in one game, we can trade that in for a special. In the last video, we won two games. We won five in a row going back over the last four videos. All five were by Rage Quit. So in today's video, we're about to open our fifth and six special pack over the last five videos and it's much needed because we're getting really close to championship series and we gotta upgrade this team. So first we're gonna open this NL East pack and this one's actually gonna be the tough one because Cliff Lee and Edward Cabrera are both monsters that we would, we would love to have in our pitching staff. Then Ronnie Mauricio is kind of a much needed bat but if I'm being honest, as good as Ronnie Mauricio is, I do think that bat will be outdated sooner than we think because there are so many bats that are 100 plus across the board. So in this pack in the NL East, I'm going to upgrade the pitching staff. We're going to do Edward Cabrera, someone that will dominate on Hall of Fame for us with that 100 mile an hour sinker. We're going to debut him today as well, and he will probably end up going in on the pitching staff for either Dallas Keuchel or Max Scherzer. I know Max Scherzer has full energy, so I'll slide him in there for Scherzer right now. And then our next pack, which is the NL West Diamond Pack, we're gonna open this up. And this one, I would love to take Josiah Gray, four pitch mix, 96 hits for 999 break, but we just took a pitcher and our pitching staff is actually looking pretty solid. We're gonna get a monster bat that we desperately need. So we're gonna take Dante Bichette, we'll add him, he's gonna be another corner outfielder on the team. We've eventually gotta upgrade the infield. I think Jordan Groshans, the Blue Jays Diamond Future Stars card from the AL East pack is someone that I could maybe grab for the next special pack. Let me know down below. We will also be bringing the wheel back the next time we get a special pack. Today I just, I only had two packs that we could rip, so I just, there was no there was no reason for a wheel. Grabbing Dante Bichette will also allow Eloy to go back to his primary position. So now we have Eloy Jimenez, Dante Bichette, Byron Buxton is our outfield. On the infield, we're gonna do exactly like the last episode. Eddie Matthews, Manny Machado, Trey Turner, and Ryan McMahon with Carlos Santana behind the plate. And we will be pitching with Edward Cabrera. Like I said, I'm gonna take Scherzer out since he's got full energy right now. Dallas Keuchel, Matt Libertor, Jacob DeGrom all need their energy to come back up some. And I will say on my God Squad, there have been times where all five of my starters need a little bit of extra juice because they all ended up, they all had like six plus inning games in a row. So it's nice to have six or even seven good starters when we get deep into the World Series run. For now though, we gotta try and get to Championship Series where Edward Cabrera will then be even more difficult to hit than he is now. Let's play a ranked game. Lineup's gonna go Trey Turner, Eddie Matthews, Dante Bichette, Carlos Santana, Eloy Jimenez, as Ryan McMahon, Manny Machado, and Byron Buxton. And remember, today we're starting a brand new win streak. We've technically won five in a row. We need to win five more for a special pack. So that makes it 10. Let's just act like it's a zero. Win streak's back to zero. We are home. We're actually the home. I thought we were on the road first. He got Gold Otani on the mound. I haven't seen him in forever. I know that he's got a cutter now. And this guy's got nine good hitters in his lineup. And he's 30 and seven. This, I have a feeling this is gonna be a good game. He has a gold on the mound though. Let's try and take advantage of that. Ground ball, left side. <laughs> and this game starts with an infield single for Buxton. Sick. Taking off 0-2 and he fouls it off. Okay. Taking off in a breaking ball count is interesting. Fly ball to Ray. He almost got that with Wander Franco. He's got that 99 limited time Franco in his line. Is it Franco or Franco? 
There's just so many differences with that in this league. Crowd ball, five, four, three! Lead off infield single, he does nothing. It actually looks like we're on Hall of Fame difficulty. So that's good. Edward Cabrera making his Hall of Fame debut here. Trey Turner, that's a lead off knock. He is the man. Good pitch. Okay. All right, that pitch is actually extremely difficult to locate with Otani. Good cutter to start Dante Bichette in his debut. Cutter away. Trey Turner should be there easily at second. He will. There's a stolen base. Double play gone. Wow. Dotted a cutter away. Dotted a cutter in. Tried to go with a splitter again. See, that hard, that pitch is really hard to locate. Curveball bounces. It's 3-2. Nice play behind the plate to keep Trey Turner off third base. Throws the cutter again. I got to crush that one. It just came in so slow. Oh, he got us looking. I thought that broke off. He dotted it, huh? Oh, he got a friendly call. What a pitch. 0-1 oh, on Carlos Santana now. Come on. Good hold, Carlos. It's 1-1. 3-2 again. A long inning for Otani here. Carlos! Get robbed! Hanging slider. We barreled it. We crushed it. We line out to center. My pack squad's luck is awful. Just tells me he's not confident. Ground ball to shortstop. Got on top of a slider. One down. Yo, Manny took forever to let go of that ball. Ground ball the other way, and there's a base hit. Everything's on the ground here. He's got an infield single, a double play ball, a ground out to short, and a weak ground ball that sneaks through the other way. Actually, he hit that pretty hard. Let me stop. Either way, we're getting a lot of bad contact. A lot. <laughs> Look at the top of his head. I guess I jinxed that one. Yikes. Oh, fly ball to center. That one's just going to stay in the yard. This game does just frustrate me sometimes, though. Strike three on Eloy, and that'll end the inning. There's a strikeout. That's frustrating. Hey, man, you'll hang and slide or center barrel. No, 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 but I promise we reward your opponent very next inning. Guaranteed. Eloy! Annihilated! I thought he caught it, chat. I really did. It's a, it's a leadoff double. Full count. Another full count. We've had three or four of these already here. Nobody out. And that's ball four. It'll put two on with nobody out for Manny Machado. Two and one on Manny. Starting to really struggle with that cutter. Smoked! We sneak that splitter out to right. We're going to go base to base. They're loaded with nobody out now. Another pack. We have a double and three total hits this inning and haven't scored. It's. I'm telling you, my pack luck on this series sucks. You know how hard that is to do? Buxton! I mean, chat! What do I gotta do? That ball is crushed, and it's an elevated pitch. Man! I thought I hit a granny, and now the pitcher comes up with one out. That sucks. Good bump with two outs. Good bump with two outs. Moves the runners over for the top of the order. We desperately need a knock. Two strikes, not two outs. Now there's two outs. Trey Turner hanging curveball! <laughs> Give me a break! Are you kidding? I could have five runs right now. I didn't have a single bad swing out or at bat that entire inning, except for Edward Cabrera. But he did his job too. One down, ground ball to first. No, God, please, no, no, no. He does no. not get an early off the end of the bat homer with the exact, on a pitch at his eyes, with the exact same player that I just flew out to the wall with on a center barrel. There's no possible way that that just happened. That is in the same spot my ball was, except it's even higher. He was under it and early. Ground ball up the middle. Two down. I feel like all I'm doing is complaining here, but it, like, 
This is warranted, right? Grief is a complicated and very powerful emotion. Ground ball short. All right, I, for whoo, thankfully we had a quick pick up and toss him. Quick, quick hands from Trey Turner there, Manny Machado, I mean. Another ground ball in the infield I thought was gonna be a single. That's a great splitter. Yeah, when you locate the splitter with Otani, it can be so deadly. Brings up Dante Bichette. Dante! It's a fastball right down the middle. That one better go. Yay! Bye! It's three to two. I mean, we're all over Otani here. So I'm gonna keep on going. Keep on keeping on. Let's just try and outscore him somehow. Ah, I knew he was gonna go knee-high fastball there off the cutter. I chase way down. Two down. We have scored one in this inning. Let's see if we can tie it with Eloy. He's got a double already. Eloy! Apparently, if you're going to be early, it's got to be on something at your forehead. And not something out over the plate. I am struggling to stay composed in this game right now. <laughs> Cabrera has thrown 26 pitches here in the fourth inning. Outside of the homer, hasn't given up very much hard contact at all, but I can't keep runners off the bases. Four! It's, that's routine. It's, ru that's routine. It's the ball, it, it's routine. It, that is the easiest ground ball I've ever seen. He had time to pitch a tent and camp with his family for the weekend before that ball got there. <laughs> Bruh! What is going on? I'm gonna warm up Josh Hader and Nick Anderson. Edward Cabrera is getting screwed, man. Fly ball to center. One down. Once again, we are gonna somehow get away with one just staying in the ballpark. And now with two outs, there will be runners on the corners. That's his best swing since the homer. I hung a curveball, missed my spot. He was early and on top of it too though, but it snuck through the infield. One pitch, one out to Bucks, and we go to the bottom of the fourth, down by three. How does he have seven hits? I am baffled by how this game is gone. First pitch swinging with Ryan McMahon is a good squared ground ball right back up the middle. Manny Machado gonna come up. That ball was hit 104 miles an hour and was harder hit than every single infield ground ball he had last inning. And now I am officially just I think I'm too annoyed to play now. I gotta pause for a minute. <sighs> I just, if I'm gonna lose, I wanna get outplayed. That's all. Right now, I feel like I am having way more consistent at bats. I have had better exit velo, more barrels. He's got us almost doubled in hits and more than doubled in runs. I need a couple bounces to go my way and pitch good down the stretch with the bullpen. Let's go to work. That's a great take. Great take right there. I got a dot. Good spot. Popped it up. A one jammed him. One down. All right, at this point, I don't even care anymore. We're just gonna play through this game and try and get as many packs as we possibly can. This guy's getting every break you could possibly get. Fly ball to right, first pitch swinging with Jim Tomey. We'll move the runner up to third, but there are two down now. I would have been borderline ready to rage quit if he would have got an RBI infield single on that. All right, that's going to do it for Edward Cabrera. Sadly, he got absolutely dogged in this debut. Let's see if Rod Carew here can just get us a base knock to lead off this inning for the top of the order. Rod Carew with a good swing on a fastball. He doesn't have much pop, though, so it's going to dies in the air and flies out the left. Trey Turner! Another base hit to right. We were a little bit on top of that ball and a 
course he rolls a double play. Uh, would have been a perfect time to give me back one of those seven ground ball hits he has. This is just one of those weird games, man. If I don't center barrel it, I don't get a hit. And even when I do, half more than half the time it's an out. I desperately need like a bounce or two to go my way. Either that or I'm gonna have to rip off like six perfect perfects. Nick Anderson comes out, first pitch sinker down below the knee is a perfect, perfect base hit to lead off the inning. Fly ball to right center will be the first out of the inning. He started to go to third, Bucks, and I need some urgency, some urgency. Thank you. He thought it was going to get down and he made a mistake. There are two outs now. It looks like he's going to take Otani out of the game. He will, so he's going to go to the bullpen, Kyle Seeger out. Otani hasn't given up a run in three innings, he's still going to take him out because he knows he's getting lit up regardless of the score. <laughs> I wish I could see the exit velo on that. It couldn't have been any more than 75. Great take. Three and two, runner will be off. And a great, hey, we caught a break! We got a break! Whoa! Are you kidding? Really? Huh? I am blessed! Sergio Romo out of the pen. Dante Bichette gonna lead it off. He has already homered in this one. All right, lead off walk on Bichette. Brings up Carlos Santana. Carlos! There we go. We got one through the infield. Finally, that's been a one-way street today. No. No! <laughs> the worst case scenario, of course! Of course! That was our chance to get back into this game. I take one bad hack. One bad hack! Oh, today's not my day. Ryan McMahon! I'm on that slider, but it's in on my hands. Ground ball right side. Hey! One down. Trey Turner scoops up a routine. Oh, you love to see that, Trey. Dante Bichette goes yard, 3-2. He turns on a fastball, down and in on the black. It's a good pitch, good swing. Once again, he gets rewarded for his good swings. Ground ball to short. That'll be the second out of the inning. It's just been a really frustrating game. The score does not rep represent whatsoever. The t <laughs> of course, he gets another weak ground ball to sneak through while I'm, while I'm doing a recap. Yeah, Buxton, take your time, dude. Hesitate, crow hop, triple pump. Do it all, bro. Do it all. You're not the best defender in, in the American League at your position. No. It is seven to two. How? I don't know. Hard ground ball to third for Buxton. Is, uh, that was probably one of those situations where once his player knocked it down, whatever throw he preloaded disappeared and he got screwed. First pitch swinging. Three innings in a row. Just a hair on top. And a double play ball. Five. Four. Three. All right, we need one more out. We got two at-bats left. You never know. Fly ball to left. He chased that sinker. That ball almost landed in his mouth. And he hit it to the wall. Trey Turner's two for three. And he's going to line out the center. Cutter's a little bit off the end of the bat. There we go. Ground ball base hit. There's our second hit on the ground in the last two innings. See, we're starting to, we're starting to turn around a little bit. I see one or two to drop for me. Dante! We followed that cutter off the plate, poked it the other way. Two innings in a row, we have two runners on. He hit Carlos in a 2-2, and now Eloy up. Eloy! Oh, no way, we did not just do it again. We just grounded into a double play three innings in a row, and we were all over that one with Eloy.
I don't even care. I really don't care. Are you joking? Strikeout to end the top of the ninth. There's another pack. This guy has 15 hits. 15. I'm kind of just ready for this game to be over, honestly. Oh, you wait till the ninth to start handing those out the other way, huh? Explain it to me like I'm five. You're darn gonna come out to hit. I, I don't want to look at that PCI. I can't see it. I'm closing my eye. Go get off my screen. I don't want to look at you. Trash. Jordan comes off the bench, gets us another pack. We're safe everywhere, huh? He tried to beat us to second? I chased. Just frustrated. With that base is loaded in the ninth, though, we had 12 base runners left on in the final five innings of that game. 12! Seven of them left stranded on double plays to end the inning. 12 hits, two runs, one stolen base, and two strikeouts. We also have one homer with Dante Bichette. That is 18 pecs. We get to cut them in half because we lost, so we're only going to open nine standards. Ah, super frustrating game. And GG's to my opponent. I really don't mean to take away from him at all. He played well. He hit a bunch of balls hard. There were just so many bad hits for him. All right, I just uh, <laughs> decided to shower off that loss, and we're back. All right, we got nine standards to open. We'll have one left when we are done. Tough loss today. Couldn't get anything going early, and then we straight up choked it away late. Jazz in that last pack. Six more. Five more. Wilson Ramos pack luck has been getting better as of late still no trouts pack squads or no money spent but overall pack luck has been getting better one more and no diamond today so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up down below i'm gonna have another pack squads up on saturday and we're gonna be posting two this weekend saturday and sunday be on the lookout for that we gotta move on from this game as quickly as we can five straight rage quit wins and i don't even know what to call that is it a, is it a, is it a dud what a bad game. I'm out. Peace.